from New Jersey is recognized. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I rise today to strongly oppose H.J. Res. 38, which would disapprove the Department of the Interior Stream Protection Rule. When the Obama administration announced the final stream protection rule, it was a victory for those who live in coal country. The rule prioritizes the health of our fellow Americans by establishing clear requirements for responsible surface coal mining, especially dangerous mountaintop removal mining. If this Obama rule was fully enforced, it would protect or restore six miles of streams and 52,000 acres of forest over the next two decades. At the time the rule was finalized, I called for a stronger stream buffer zone protections, but the announced regulation was undoubtedly a win for human health, clean water, and our environment. I want to be very clear about what the stream protection rule does. This rule requires that mining companies avoid practices that permanently pollute streams and sources of drinking water, damage forests, and increase flood risk. The rule requires for the first time that streams around mining sites be monitored and tested for the presence of toxic chemicals like lead and arsenic. This rule also requires mining companies to restore polluted streams and replant uh, mined areas with native trees and vegetation. These provisions ensure that mining companies take responsibility for their actions and act to ensure that coal country communities do not suffer because of destructive mining practices. Now we are debating an ill-conceived resolution which would negate these important advances. If this rule were to be overturned, American families living near impacted streams and rivers will not be protected from toxic chemicals getting into their water. What's even more appalling is that because the Congressional Review Act prevents substantially similar regulations from being developed in the future, this joint resolution means that these affected communities might never be protected from the impacts of mining waste in their water. And protecting our rivers and streams from the damaging impacts of mountaintop removal has been a pri priority for me, and it's why in past Congresses I've introduced the Clean Water Protection Act, which would end the dumping of mining waste into our country's rivers and streams, and I'll be reintroducing that legislation this session. But, Mr. Speaker, it's unfathomable that congressional Republicans would pass this joint resolution and doom generations of children and families to irreparable harm. I strongly encourage all of my colleagues to oppose this resolution and you yield back the balance.